YouTube family, friends, and fans. I am Captain Dan of the Florida Fishing Couple, and we are gonna be bringing you another brand new video, action-packed as always. But before we do, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about an endeavor by Captain Matt of Marathon Sport Fishing. He's a charter guy and a friend down in Marathon. He is the best sword fisherman, sword, you like that, huh? a sword fisherman, that I have ever had the opportunity and luck and ability to fish with, and uh, I'm really happy to go out fishing with him whenever we have a chance. As you know, Elizabeth has gone out with us, uh, uh, Nicole Spence is gone, Heiko is gone, and for the most part, we've always done pretty well, except for one person. One person who puts a black cloud over the, the marathon sport fishing boat as we head out into the, uh, into the great ocean for swordfish. And that would be one Heiko of the South Florida Fishing Channel. So, Captain Matt has devised a plan, and the plan is this. All three of us, Captain Dan, Heiko, and Captain Matt, we're going to go on a fishing expedition with one of you. And this is how you do it. If you're interested in going fishing with us and breaking the curse, the Heiko Swordfish Curse, then here's what we need you to do. You need to visit this video that I'm gonna post down here, view that video, and then subscribe to all three of our channels. So that would be South Florida Fishing Channel, Florida Fishing Couple, and of course, Captain Matt on the Marathon Sport Fishing Channel. This thing ends on November 15th. So we're getting close, but if you're interested in going, breaking the curse, and going sword fishing with all three of us, uh, it would be quite an extravaganza, and we would love to have you along, and we think it's gonna be an absolute freaking blast. Uh, we'll get some uh, further guidance there from Captain Matt as to when the drawing will be, and then we'll coordinate with you as to when we're actually gonna do this wonderful, fantastic, awesome, amazing fishing trip with you as the star. All right, watch this video that we're putting out this week. I hope you really enjoy it. I'm Elizabeth and this is Captain Dan and we are the Florida Fishing Couple. We are out north Key Largo today and uh, starting off by doing a little jigging. Look at this. First time this I used this jig, look at the bite marks on there. Look at wow. there. He got, he grabbed it. So he grabbed it in the middle and he missed the hooks. So he's a toothy dude. Barracuda, uh, could be kingfish. Ooh, kingfish, we'll take that. We're gonna pull back around and uh, see what we find. You know what to do. Follow us. us. Look at that. Listen, when you see that fish underneath the boat like that, you gotta say to yourself, man, you gotta try with the day. Especially when you know they're down there. I just hit bottom actually, so that's interesting. What are we at? 178. These guys are halfway through the water column, so I'm gonna come back up through the water column. Come on, fishy, fishy. Let's grab it. Fish on, fish on, fish, fish on. on. What's your bet? No idea, man. He hit it very close to the top. And a lot of head shakes. Oops, here it comes. That's a big ass fish. Whatever it is, it's a big ass fish. Come on, baby. Where do you see the size of this thing? Well, we just went under the boat. Shit, we don't need that. Here he is. Oh, your bestie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Dan's best friend. Shit. Give me the gaff. <laughs> it's going down. I'm not losing that kid. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. He's all hooked up. Hang on. Let me grab a... Uh... <clears throat> I just want my word to go back. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to back off because he's gonna, he's gonna get nuts. Stink. Oh my. <clears throat> that was almost Dan with the hook in the leg. Or a cuda bike. You're gonna have to re-rig that whole damn thing. Nah, friggin' barracuda. Yeah. A, a barracuda. 
Womp womp. Womp womp. Yeah. Big, bro. Should cover up his eyes so he can't see you. We got sick of the barracudas, so now we are putting out a spread to troll. Uh, we're trolling through. We got a feather way back, and then we have a uh, rapala, a 30 deep diver, with some shiny stuff on the side. And then we also have one planer, one planer down with uh, some nice shiny stuff on there. A very hairy, shiny. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Slow it down. You wanted a neutral and just slow? Nah, just slow. We're gonna get these other two uh, two rods in too. I think this is a I think this is a decent fish. Okay. All right, you go in. I got I got I gotta turn the clicker off. Yeah, turn off the clicker, Dan. Clicker's off. Right. Feels like a, feels like a decent fish. Leave that one out, oh. babe. Hit this one. Yeah, hit that one. Great job, great job. job. Woohoo! We get this one in, then we'll, then, we'll, then we'll slow it down a little bit more and get him in. This should be, more than likely, it should be a tuna. Alright, a little heft to it. You're getting close, aren't you? Yeah. Right, move it all the way to the other side. So, chances are not a mighty. He hasn't not come up. There you go. This is a better coup. You're gonna die. I'm gonna quit this. <laughs> You want me to slow it down even more? Tiny bit, yep. Yeah, we'll keep the planer going so it stays down. Yeah, that's what we come out of here for, we think. It's coming at the now. Whoa. Whoa, 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 keep it tight, keep it tight, man. <laughs> Ooh, I think it's a tuna. I think it's a little tuna. Baby tuna. <laughs> oh, it is. Blackfin. It's a blackfin. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said a baby tuna. Ooh, oh, just a kidding. baby tuna. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Yes. That's what we came out here for. Yeah, Dan. Tuna. Awesome. All right, we're gonna bleed him out. Get that live well going. We mark the spot where we picked them up so we can head back there. Oh man, he's hooked perfectly too. Very nice, yeah. Oh man, bravo, dude. <laughs> we are in the tuna tonight. Oh. We got the sushi. The reason we bleed them out is because they're running so hard whenever they hit that lure and we really want to kill them quickly and also cool them off so that we don't ruin the meat. So it's humane and it makes it taste better. It's on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Can you slow it down that just a tiny? Yep, you got it. Turn that clicker off. I'm not like you. Dan. Yeah, you got it tight. You guys, it tight. You got it tight. Keep it tight. Luke. It is tight. <laughs> Where are you? I think you're in front of us already. I think you're good. Keep, keep coming. Yeah. Yep. Okay, hold on. Yeah, turn me out of the engine, please. Yep. There he is. There he is. There he is. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it might be. A, oh, I think it's a bonita. Okay. Yeah. Strip 
hooks on that guy. Woo! Okay. Nice job, nice job. <laughs> All right, so we got bait. Man, we got dinner. All right. Nice job, baby. Man, he was barely hooked. He was snagged. Yeah. Right? Yep. Or did it just, did no, it just no, turn no, around? No, 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 we got him right in, the, right in the corner of the mount. We'll never roll off that. All right, we're gonna get moving. It's getting a little sporty over here. Hold up. Hold on. All over. Yep. Come on. I'm gonna come back there and uh, check that up. Right so we uh, we gotta go, right? Yeah, the sun is falling out of the sky. It's 6.02 p.m. At 4 o'clock, he said, oh, at 4.30, we'll head in. I said, if we get a bite, though, then that pushes it out. So we got a bite. What happened was I was jigging, and I got uh, I got a toothy critter, and he cut those hooks right off. Yeah. So three times. Three times. So I'm thinking kingfish. Uh, I wasn't prepared for that with the jigs. I've got to come up with a way to make wire hooks, like like because they're made out of just that cord. They, they eat through that cord like nothing, a, a toothy critter. So I got lucky with, uh, <laughs> what are you laughing about? The critter part. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. A toothy fish can bite right through that cord. And we got lucky, <laughs> got lucky with the barracuda, which, you know, it's luck. It wasn't good, it was bad, bad luck with the barracuda, but anyway. Anyway, so we had a good day. Yeah. I mean, we had fun. And nice you know day. what? We came out here. I really wanted tuna. We got tuna. I'm got so happy. Got a nice butterball tuna. I mean, just a good size. He should have some really nice um, loins. Yes. So, so, all right. So the sun is up, right up in front of us. I don't know if you can see my face is on fire. And um, it's it's gorgeous, but it's time it's to time go. time to go. It's I, time to I, go. I don't want to go, but it's time when you got to go. We have to work tomorrow. We're going in. Nice tuna. Yeah. Nice tuna. Got a bonita for bonita strips. Yeah. Right? We got, uh, we got... Hey, let us know if you want to learn how to make bonita strips because we make oh, yeah. them and we typically don't film it, but if you would like to see how to make bonita strips because we do use those um, to catch fish, let us know. We'll yeah. film it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea, actually. We do a how-to. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, I think that's good for now, right? Yeah, we've got a really good and different recipe. You guys have seen us do blackfin tuna a ton of ways, yeah. and now we've got a new recipe coming for you. So, don't skip the end obviously because there's lots of bloopers but also oh, yeah. for the cook part of this it's gonna be new for us too yeah but we've never had this before so yeah. we're gonna try a new recipe ourselves we're looking forward to so, it yeah it should be good so anyway you know the deal follow, follow us. us to the kitchen to the kitchen <laughs> the kitchen and tonight we're gonna to do something a little bit different with that blackfin tuna we have done poke we have done seared tuna we've done a myriad of recipes with blackfin tuna and we'll link some of those videos down below but tonight we are gonna try our hand at something that the restaurant inside the Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood Florida does and that is crispy rice spicy tuna so follow us, we're gonna show you how it's done. So I didn't have a mold to make um, like they do at the restaurants, but I did come up with like a little ramekin here. And out of this, I was able to make these little squares. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry them on both sides and then put some nice spicy tuna on the top. And then maybe um, a little bit of onion that we have. Um, we don't have any jalapenos, otherwise I'd put some jalapenos on there. And I've even seen caviar put on there, but we don't have any of that. But, so we're gonna, but this is our first try at this. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see if it's as good as we think it's gonna be. And uh, it looks simple, so we'll see how it goes. This is, this is a, <laughs> this is a, an experiment. 
So we're using some fantastic avocado oil. And the reason why we like to use avocado oil, well, first of all, it's healthy, but the real reason I like to use it is because it has a very, very, very high smoke point. So you really can't burn this. Uh, and it also has no flavor of its own. So that's kind of important when you're cooking certain things, especially when we're trying to do like sushi and that kind of stuff. So I just want to get it hot. And again, this is uh, this is first time shot, so we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna bring over all of these little delicate squares, and as you can see, this black thing was just absolutely amazing. Wow, just how beautiful! Look at that. I mean, it's just perfect. Truth be known, we've been cheating and we've been doing like nigiri with it. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm gonna put it back in the fridge to keep it cold. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. We just lay these in there very gently because here's the thing: I don't want them to break. Maybe only four. So far, so good, but. Uh oh. I'm worried about them snap, crackle, and popping. So I'm gonna tilt this a little bit to get that. Yep. I don't want it to be. I don't want to deep fry them, right? That's what we want to do with this thing. And you know what the crucial thing is gonna be is flipping them up back. Right you gotta get them flipped over at the right time. Then put them on, we're going to put them on a little little Japanese dish. So, how are we going to know when they're done, do you think? Well, I like that one's looking close. I mean, Is it flippy time? Okay. All right. Uh, I wish I had two of these. All right. So, come on, baby. It's gonna, all right, okay. All right, stuck together. I'm worried about falling apart. Oh, that's it. That's it. I think that's, I think that's what we should be looking at. Yes. I just turned down the heat a little bit. Because we're smoking, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, come on. All right. I think we should do these, just these four, and then try them and see what, see what, see what happens. This is, this is a complete total crap shoot. Yeah, broke that one. Come here, come here. All right, so we broke them a little bit. I'm gonna leave that one there. Let's just make these three and try them. All right, so here's our spicy tuna that we made. All this is is chopped up tuna and then some mayonnaise and sriracha. And then of course we put a little green onion in there for flavor and a touch of sesame oil if you like it. We do. And so that's all it is, piece of cake. Very, very good. We make rolls out of it. Okay. Then I'm going to put a little onion on top. I got one more thing I'm going to do. I'm just winging this. Why not some sesame seeds? Why not? So we already, we already roasted these sesame seeds. All right. All right, so the trick is going to be getting them up off the plate without breaking them because they seem to be kind of brittle. And I thought that the, uh, I guess, hmm, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's let's see. Goes with you tomorrow if I take first bite. <laughs> You're in it now. <laughs> I'm in it. It's happening. You know what else I want? I want a little bit of. I want a little bit of soy sauce on there. There we go. Okay, going for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, this is really delicious. The rice is a little crunchy. I think we gotta get better at frying them so that they stay together. But the flavor of this all together is really, it's, you know what happens to the rice? It gets, it takes a, like a little bit of a nutty flavor and that just transforms the whole thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are gonna love this. So we gotta get better at, at making this stick together. Maybe make smaller ones. I think smaller. I think smaller is the trick because when we saw theirs, they were a lot smaller. Okay, so smaller. So it's more compact. So it's one bite instead of two. But you gotta go for the one on the on your left. Yep, that's okay. the one. Right, I'm gonna try. It might be a two-handed deal. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Here we go. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? I have to be honest. I wasn't sure how that was going to be. Fried, I'm not a big fried anything person, so I'm like, eh, fried, no. This is amazing! It's really good! I mean, like you said, the, the, there's so many textures because the tuna itself is like smooth and creamy. And this being crispy, it really sets it off. It's very, it's something very different. The rice takes on like a nutty flavor, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a really unique flavor. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. Ah, I'm thinking this. Listen to this. We do this just like this, right? Mm -hmm. Only then we take out a piece of nori and we break that into the nori. We make a hand roll. Is Ooh, what a hand roll with that would be great. With that nutty flavored rice. Yeah, that would be great. The, and this unbelievable uh, tuna. Uh, let's do that. Let's, let's try that. So I took the last one that you saw in there and I'm just going to break it apart just as if I was making a regular old hand roll. It's still a little warm. And I'm just gonna take my spicy tuna, put it in there just like, like a handle. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of green stuff on there. And then I am going to roll her up. Into a delicious looking hand roll. All right, try it. You want me to try it first? Mm hmm. All right. Mm. Okay, this is awesome. This is something new. This is it. We just, we just fry them up. Fry the rice up, make them in the hand rolls. You gotta try it, try it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This is delicious. You lose a little bit of the contrast with the, um, the rice, right? Like some of it being like normal rice and some of it being crispy mm -hmm. because the nori is so crispy. So you lose a little bit of that, but the taste is still there. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's great. So like tonight, like this size, this is a perfect thing to do with this. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Right, good deal. Mm -hmm. A plus. Nice, right? This is, mm -hmm. this is so good. Mm -hmm. Just such an easy recipe. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the deal that we always do. We always say this. Would you do this again? So here's what I have to say. It was, it's so good. It is absolutely delicious. But the rice that you make is so good. I don't know. I, I don't think that your, your rice needs it. I mean, to be fried. Mm. It gives it dimension. It's so, um, it's so rich. That's what I was going to say earlier. It makes it, the fried, something about it makes it like so much more rich and decadent. I could probably eat, you know, 20 of them if it wasn't fried. I could probably eat two of them with it being fried. Mm. So that's where I'm at. It's definitely a must try. If you've never done it, try it. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be your go-to way forever, but you all know me, I'm a purist. What about you, would you do it again? Um, I really like the flavor of it. I would prefer if I was at somebody's house and they brought it to me, I would love to eat it. I don't really feel like making it again because I like, I like just regular either poke balls or making the rolls, the regular rolls with the nori. I like the, I like the flavor of it. I like the nutty flavor of it. It's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's, it's so decadent. It's so delicious. Now I keep looking over there because I got two more that I'm going, I'm going to make those two and then eat those two. And uh, who knows, maybe one day we'll get a bug up our butt and say, hey, let's, let's try that, you know, what do you call it, rice again. Here's one thing that doesn't waver. That blackfin tuna is absolutely 
the best. There's nothing like that. I think I like it better than yellowfin now. I definitely do because it's so lean. The yellowfin seems so fatty now in comparison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. So and that piece, I mean, you get the right size and and the loins on there are just perfect. So anyway, all right. Well, I'm hungry, and me, you? Me too. All right. All right. So I still got my ugly gloves on. Oh, you know what else? You guys haven't seen these in a while, have you? Not yet. Well, they're back. I just want to let you know they never really left. Just, just so you know. We've got a lot of fans of these. Yeah. Speaking about fans, we have been. You guys have been. You guys have been killing it with um with uh, views lately. Yeah. yeah. And subscriber count just keeps climbing and climbing. So all of the all yep. of those of you that have subscribed recently, welcome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for finally taking the plunge and subscribing. And yeah, I'm really glad we tried this. It's one of these like viral things, like. Crunch, crispy rice, mm -hmm. crispy rice sushi. So I'm really glad we tried it. Now we know. Um, it's filling. Yeah, you should de you should definitely give it a try if you haven't. It's a very different experience. Something different if you like to cook, if you like doing the sushi thing, which we love to do. Ah, it's it was it's very different. Yeah, it's very different and very good. I'd like to try it in a restaurant. That's yeah, what I would like to do. So anyway. maybe just one. Hey, one other thing. Lots of people are watching. Some of you aren't subscribing. And we're like, why aren't they subscribing? So we really need your help. We really want you to subscribe. Yep. We're getting more we're getting more views than we are subscribers these days. Yes. Which is kind of kind of upside down, bass backwards. So we know you're watching. We know you must be enjoying it. And even if you're not, subscribe anyway. Oh Lord. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed, we love you. Thank you yep, so thank much you. for coming along on our adventures and. Um, Leave a comment because we try to do our best to answer everyone's comment, at least the first one. Yeah. And so, hey, and you guys know the deal. Follow, follow us. us. And now we're going to go eat. Yeah. <laughs>